Wow. Wow. <laughs> I know the ones that are male okay. and the ones that are female because I normally use the the male mm -hmm. to hatch my female. So how will you know the one that is male and the one that is female? When I lift it, there's, you see it under them. Hello guys, welcome again to Marvelous Inspiration Channel, your family entertainment and inspiration channel. Today we have come with another special episode. <laughs> Guess what? I was driving to somewhere and I called uh, this my brother. You know this my brother, his face is popular in Marvelous Inspiration Channel. I called him and he told me that he was buying fresh fish. I asked him which market. He said he's not in the market. He's buying it actually from a Ghanaian woman. I say, wow. Then let me come and meet you there if that is the case. Fish, he said, yes. He said that uh, they are into fish farming. I say, wonderful. That was how I rushed down to this place. And when I got here, I met this beautiful woman. <laughs> He's a Ghanaian that is married to my brother. And uh, please let her tell us about herself. Madam, please, can we know you better? I'm Mrs. Cynthia Obonna. Mrs. Cynthia Obonna. A Ghanaian married to a Nigerian. Wonderful, wonderful. You see, Ghana and Nigeria, we are one. You know, so we have come here, and uh, what I've seen have inspired me enough to uh, appreciate what she is doing. So, madam, what is your inspiration behind the fish farming? Um, I love fishes, so I decided to go that way. It's something that is easy for me to go into. It. That's why I went to Okay, okay. So, and how have you been enjoying the fish farming business? It's not other, but it's good. Okay. Because for catfish, for the one I'm doing here, for instance, when you, you go into it, six to five months, they are ready to sell. Wow. Unlike the other ones. Okay, okay. So, this is likely easier than other yeah, ones. Yes. Okay. So, guys, you've heard from her, and um, let's see uh, exactly uh, how she's doing it right here in her house. You can see we are right here in her house, and everywhere in this house is just fish, fish, from my front to my back to the backyard to everywhere. I've seen a lot of them. So, Mama, how do, how do, how do you feed them? Do, do they have different food, or all of them eat the same food? No, they eat the same food, but different sizes. Okay, they eat the same food. But different sizes. But different sizes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because most of them, you know, when you hatch them, so, um, when they are small, they can't swallow something like this because their mouth is not big. Okay, okay, So okay. they have 0.1. Okay. And then they have um, uh, 2 mm. Okay. They have 4 mm. Okay. They have uh, 3.5. Okay. And then they have sizes. Okay. So it depends. When they are growing, you have to be changing. Okay, okay. So let me see, let me see how they look like. This is where we normally hatch the fingerlings. But before you get fingerlings, you will get fry. Yeah, and then fry up here to for six weeks before I will transfer them to the where I nest them. Okay, okay. So let's see. This is where I normally nest them before I put them in the big pond. One month, two weeks or one month before I transfer them because when they are here for a long time, they will become overcrowded. So then after that stage, what happened next? After that, that stage, I have to transfer them to the big pond so that they will get much space to grow. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see the big pond now. This is where I normally put them. Okay. You can this... see the ones that are here are not all that big. Okay. These are their sizes. Okay. After this place, I leave them, they will grow much in it. Let's say, after I'm putting them here, we all, I have to wait for, let's say, three months or three months and above. When, as time is going on, I'll just, when I flush the water, I'll see that there are big ones coming out from it, okay. which I have to select from it, because if some are big and some are small, the big ones will be able to eat the small ones up. From that stage now to here. Yeah. When they, they, they shoot out, the, the big ones come in it. They don't allow the small ones to eat. So okay. they see them too. So you see them some big, some small. Okay. So you have to be removing the big ones. I'm putting them, them here. Yes, yeah, separating them. Okay. You check their mouth. You know that when you are selecting them, that these ones cannot swallow them. Okay. Then you add them into it and they start feeding so that they will grow with this one together. Okay. So this is the muzzle stage of it. Wow. This one's hungry, hungry ones. Hungry ones. Yeah. Hungry ones. <laughs> this is well, like, right? <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> so this was now there. How many months are there? Now? This was. Oh, that's it. this was there. Um, three months going to four months. Three months going to four months. Yes. Wow. So after this stage, what happened next? After this stage, mm -hmm. they would even this one. When I leave it for some time, when I flush the water, I they will be under the place. So I will know the ones that are bigger than some. So that I have to take them out and put it there. What what I also do is I separate. I know the ones that are male okay. and the ones that are female because I normally use. The the male mm. to hatch my female. So how will you know the one that is male and the one that is female? When I lift it, there's you see it under them. The men, their um, sexual organ is long. Okay. But the women, their own is round. Okay. So okay. I know. And okay. the women, when they are not above like one year and above, you cannot use them to hash. Okay. But for the men, when they are even six months, three months, you can use the sperms to hash. Very good. So when you move them from there, you transfer them to. When they use, I move them. I put them at I separate the women I used to hash in the. Uh, drum the and they put them in because when you put them together once you want to use to hash they will like they will wound themselves okay so i have to put them separately and the women the women are to inject them overnight okay there's uh, there's one uh, injection they used to inject them hmm. i have to inject them and leave them for eight or twelve hours for their eggs to be ready for you the inject treatment. them by yourself i inject them yes they have a uh, they have a medicine they used to inject <laughs> so that the, the <laughs> eggs will be very soft for you to press wow yes then after this uh, stage now, you take them from here to this place. When after the egg, I, I press the egg, everything, and use the, I put the stem. Yes. I have to take them to a hash, the hash. The, the hash. hash. That's here. That's where I did my, where I did my hash. That's here. And I, I place them here because, I place them here because they're not supposed to be where light will be. The place you're supposed to hash is supposed to be dark. So that when you hash them and you're feeding them, they'll be able to eat. So do you still have more in the compound? Yes, I still have more. I have some at the back. Okay. And I have some outside. Here. Outside. I don't want. I don't want. Okay, let's see what's going on. So all these places are fish. All yeah, these places are fish. Yes. There are a lot of fishes in this pond. And secondly, the reason why I place the uh, hens hook on it is because the, the fishes normally feed on the, the fishes of the, the fowl. Because it's small proteinous. Whatever I'm going to give the fowl is what uh, uh, the protein substance I'm going to give the fowl is what they are feeding on, and it makes them very, very fat. So, at times, um, I normally do it like this for people to learn from it because whatever the uh, fowl eats is what they are also eating, but then there's no sawdust in it, there's no sawdust in it. Whatever the fowl eats, they're going to eat it and they're going to grow to get everything in it. Okay, guys, so I want to select one. Yes, I want to select a very special one. <laughs> and when I got home, I will enjoy it with my wife. Yeah. You have uh, heard from my brother's wife. I love seeing hard working women. My brother is blessed to have you. Yes, he's blessed. Thank to you have so you. very much. Eh? What do you have to I want you to greet some Ghanaians in our list. Can you greet them? Greet them in your language. Yes. As a, somebody that married a Nigerian man, Speak him of us. Speak any Igbo for us. I'm Thank you so much for watching Marvelous Inspiration channel. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please press the red subscribe button so that each time we post video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye.